Social Innovation Through Design in the Training of Young Apprentices, Experiencing Social Educational Projects. Social innovation can be achieved by social interventions, tangible or intangible design. In seeking to innovate and propose interventions that transform people's lives, one must consider the social culture implications and the new meanings generated by it. With the expansion of the understanding of design and its implication, it is possible to build favorable spaces for innovation. With this, the challenge, the challenge is to involve the actors of social problems in a design solution, generating favorable space for innovation with new ways of producing and consuming. Through design expertise, it is possible to explore the skills of empowering people to understand the possibilities and potentialities of a given context, making them protagonists of change and thus generating social innovation. Design is a transdisciplinary area, since it has a characteristic to work the complexity and synthesize it, contributing to the systemic vision which is necessary to deal with the contemporary needs in the formation of citizens. In this way, design is an agent capable of creating a space favorable to social innovation within educational and educational environments. The motivation of this project was to instigate a new way of looking at practices carried out by young apprentices, proposing a new articulation and solution of internal problems of their institution regarding the demand for social educational materials for children in early childhood education. It was based on a meaningful learning bringing the design experience to the classroom, seeking real problem solutions for real people. The design inserted in educational environments collaborates with the new educational philosophy, as it instigates critical and creative thinking besides encouraging the development of the senses, coordination and perception. This project was carried out through action research and method in which the researchers actively participate together with the group to which the project is intended to seek the resolution of a collective problem. The project was carried out by the training of seven young learners who developed three-dimensional social educational materials for children aged five and six from the same institution. There were seven meetings, totalizing 24 hours. To guide the project, the teacher pedagogue of the partner institution made a list of interests and specific pedagogical needs of the children to be met. Based on the established needs, the training with the young began. In the first meeting, a dynamic was made to understand what the adolescents understood by design and how they understood the impact of the profession on the society. Also in this meeting, it was explained what is design, how designers work, presenting some methods and tools, and in which fields the designer acts. In the second meeting, explanations were introduced about the method and tools of design and its forms of application. Dynamics of creativity were applied so that the young began to experience the creative process. Still in this meeting, the problem was presented to the adolescents that they would design as well as the context, the particularities, characteristics and needs of the children. Finally, the students applied the tools brainstorming, persona, scenarios and visual semantic map for the problematic to which they were presented. The third meeting was to deepen the problem and generate alternatives and solutions. They also learned about planning and technical drawing and practice in selected activities. To conclude the meeting, the youngsters 
prototype in paper some of the solutions they created with the interaction of perceiving the size of the forms, the suitable to the public, possible fittings and possible interactions and, manipul and manipulations. At the fourth meeting, the adolescents learned to use the free vectorization software in Scape. After class, they designed in the software the alternatives chosen for the prototyping. The fifth meeting was used to fin finalize the drawings of the alternatives in the software. In addition, the CNC laser cutting machine, which helped them in the construction of the initial test and prototypes, was also, was also presented. At the, at the sixth meeting, the adolescents received guidelines for prototyping their products made in cardboard. The seventh meeting served to apply the prototype in the real context in order to verify how the products would be used, whether they were suitable for the target audience, whether they were safe, and a series of the other observations made from a checklist that each adolescent had in hand to guide the observations. The use of a checklist served to assess whether the requirements had been met and whether the proposal created in accordance with the physical and cognitive ergonomic requirements. It gave young people a critical eye on their creations. The checklist was also used by authors of this article, as well as the pedagogical teacher responsible for the class to assist in the final evolution of the materials. With the essential project, a constructive attitude was offered to young people they were trained to propose a social education material. This attitude was also built by the connection and empathy generated for children living in the same space as the young. The approach of different age groups brings a differentiated, a differentiated formation in the life of young people since it plays them a co-responsible for the formation and development of their beings in situations more susceptible than theirs because they are children. The application of the project provided an understanding and assimilation of the thinking and practice of design to the young people involved in the experience and experience the content learning in a real context, in the materialization of a product intended for a real target audience. It's also provided a deeper understanding of the role of design in society and how design thinking can help them not only in the professional field, in the development of products, but also in finding solutions in many areas of their lives. Some young people also reported that with the project, they discovered new skills and that with the new knowledge acquired, they had a broad vision for new possibilities in their lives.